so let's play this. 158. This number is in standard form. If we were asked to put this number in expanded form, the first thing we need to know is how much are each of these digits worth. The 3 in this number is in the hundreds place, so the 3 is worth 300. Now we have the 5. The 5 in this number is worth 50, because it is in the tens place. The 8 in this number is only worth 8, because it is in the ones place. So if we were to write the number 358 in expanded form, we would have 300 plus 50 plus 8. Just like a slinky that we pull apart, this number is stretched out in expanded form. When you stretch out a slinky and let it go, what does it do? It shrinks back together. Let's do that with this number. Now we have the number back in standard form, and it looks just like a slinky that is not stretched out. Isn't that awesome? Let's look at another example. Here we have the number 417. So how much is the 4 worth in this number? The 4 is in the hundreds place, so we have 400. How much is the 1 worth? The 1 is worth, I guess. The 1 is in the tens place, so it is worth 10. How much is the 7 worth in this number? Since the 7 is in the 1's place, we know it is only worth 7. Now, just like that slinky being stretched out, we now have the number 417 in expanded form. It is stretched out to show us what the values of each of these digits are. But we cannot forget to put our plus signs in. When you are writing the numbers in expanded form, you need to remember the addition signs to make the math statement correct. Let's move to this board and look at another number. Let's see if you guys can help me figure out how to write the numbers in expanded form. Here we can see the number 324 in standard form. We need to write this number in expanded form. Let's start by looking at the 3. How much is the 3 worth in this number? 300, because it is in the hundreds place. So we would write down 300. Now let's not forget to write down the plus sign. Now we have the 2. What is the value of the 2? 20, since the 2 is in the tens place. Good job, guys. So we write down the 20 and put down the addition sign. Last of all, we have the 4. What is the 4 worth in this number? Since the 4 is in the ones place, it is worth 4. So the number 324 written in expanded form is 300 plus 20 plus 4. We can also write this math sentence vertically. Let's take a look at what it would look like. 